Hello, big dog. Hello, Hello big dog. Hello. So, got to be Thank in on you. the kissy. got to be in on the act, haven't you, big dog? Kissy, kissy, kissy. Got to be in on the act. Hi, I'm Sue. I'm Mark. And this is the big dog. Drax. <laughs> Little girls outside at the moment. And we are nuts on tour. tour. The camera gets knocked over. This little girl. Little girls just come <laughs> trolloping in. <laughs> Hello, you. <laughs> You're here as well. Right. So we've got all the got the whole oh, horde oh, here. Yeah. Hello. Right. In our last video, we asked the question if people could help us uh, to give us any clues about the new EcoFlow solar tracker. Well, we had a few answers and a few replies and a few conversations. And at the end of it all, we decided we'd give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. So at the moment, the camera sat on top of a box. Large box. Actually, I could put a dog in the box. <laughs> <gasps> Have you heard that little girl? Yeah, we're going to go in a box. New house. In a box. New house. Let me go in a box. <laughs> so, I shall, uh, I shall clip this on here and pass the camera to my good lady. And uh, she can... Uh, show you the box well here is a said big box okay eco flow on one side and a picture of the tracker on the other and uh mighty big box heavy duty i may very well uh, fast forward some of this So, quite well packed, good, thick, sturdy box. Oh my goodness. Right. So, there you have it. Right. Well, we hope you enjoyed that video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's a box full of bits. So, there's uh, army bits, and yes. I shall uh, endeavour to get some of these out and see what's here. Manuel. 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 There we go. That's everything unpacked. Uh, we have a control module, a light sensor. I'll put that up there. That's the delicate bit, I think. Yeah, a light sensor, uh, a motorized arm, four legs, uh, a block for the bottom, block at the bottom, B left and right, a middle, a left middle and a right middle. Don't ask me. And an A2, which is a, that one with the hinge on it, middle. And then you've got an A3 left and an A3 right, them two. Four A5s, which are them. And then two cables, a long one and a short one. Yes, 0 0.92 of a foot. Really, not sure what that is in inches, but yes, it's like 7 sixteenths of a centimetre. Why do they do that? 0.98 of a foot. Yes. Mm. So on to the next bit. Building it all up. Installation. So first of all, those four legs go into. Oh, 
said heavy block. So need the Allen keys. I will undo the bolt, open that up and put the Allen keys in. So three screws, three, not one, not two, but three screws holding each leg. Anybody remember Meccano? Meccano for grown-ups. So it's four of these to do, 12 screws in all, or 12 Allen set screws in all. Just nip them up for a second. That's step one complete. Step two, turn that over and bolt the legs to the bottom of this. So it's got two little bits there which fit into them too. And then that flips over and bolts onto them. So we shall do that now, he said hopefully. So that's that bolted onto that. So now if I gently pick this up, oh my goodness, and turn that over. Looks like a huge drone. Yes. That's that. Okie kooky. That's that and that and that done. And that bolt. Page four. Next, we fit. three beams and the motorized lever arm. So that's the motorized lever arm, one of them. And then we need an A2 and an A4. So that's an A4. No, that's an A2. And the A4's that one with the two on it. So these two go on next. We'll find out where. Well, the house is south facing, so that's right. That's good then. Hey? That's good. Yeah. <sighs> right, that's that and that. So one screws in from one side. Two four mil Allen keys, one on the other side, and there you go. That's the robot arm. That's piece. I don't think it matters which way up, but the same. You've got two. Oh, one long bolt that goes through with a shaft. So pick that up and lay it against there. Turn that over and then that goes through there like that into that one and the little bolt screws into the other end of the shaft. <laughs> According to the drawing goes to the first one on the left hand side. So goes to the first one on the left hand side. Can't do that with that hand. 
can't grip it with that thumb, so. So that's a left and a right fitted, screwed in and ready for the bar. So the next two is the middle one and then left three, right three and the two bars. <laughs> Which, by the looks of things, bolt on to here. So, oh dear. that one goes on there. That one goes on there. And then them two go on the top ones. So uh, we haven't got room to build this up here. I can, uh, I'll quickly take these two bolts out just to make sure it does all fit. Wrong one, smaller one. Three mil. And then said panel sits in there and clips on like that. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So, that one. Goes on like that with them two and not screw them up yes if you want to use the a, a fixed solar panel it goes in there, see? That, that bolts on there, I believe. So that you can use them to put a fixed solar panel down. Rather than a, a foldy outy portable solar panel. These, the clippy bits, these unclip. So you fold it out and then clip it on in place. Aha! I sees, said the gentleman. So that's one. That's two. That comes out and goes on. Like that. That's not actually all the way up, that. Hang on. There you go. Now it is. And then them two. Again, I won't screw them in just yet. Haven't got room in here for that. And then... This is the same at the top. Aha! Aha! Now I think I know... Now I think I know what they're for. I know what they're for. <laughs> Good morning, day two. We got as far as you've just seen in the video yesterday and then the battery ran out on my camera. So uh, recharge your camera, recharge the mic, moved everything to outside so we can actually use some of the beautiful free solar we're getting at the moment. So what we did yesterday, you saw we actually had the other piece on. What I have done, if it follows me over here, yes. So fit the arms. We That just slots in and there's four little screws there. My beautiful assistant will come and do a zoom in. There's four little screws there. Zoom. Yeah, so that slots on and the four little screws go in. There's a wire that goes down there and comes out the bottom on a little connector. So we put that one on and that one on. Yeah. Now, if you step back on the back is said button. 
So press said button and the arms swing out. So for building up purposes at the moment, I've left them in and I'm going to put this on the base and build it up and then put the panels on. So might need a bit of assistance here. We'll have to see. Think it might need two people, but we will but try. So that one goes on like that. If my beautiful assistant can hold the top. Yay! These just... This makes it a lot easier for transportation because even in the Def Left's garage, I don't think there would be enough room to have this unit complete built up as it is. But being able to undo just these four on here and those four on there, I think just the box will go in on its legs and then just the frame will go in and sit against the back. So you don't have to build it up from scratch every time. You just have to put the tighten that, tighten that, tighten that, tighten that. You just have to put the frame onto the base, which I think makes it quite easy. So put these here. I'll take that. Thank you. That drops down onto there like that. And these four will now, when I find the hole, go in like so. So there you go. That's the four at the bottom tight and the four at the top tight. So the next job, press the button and fold the arms out. Now, Sue did, Sue did just say it's big. Well, yeah, but considering the panels go to the end, it's actually no bigger than the actual panels. It's just raised up a bit. It just looks big because it's you're not used to seeing the panels there like that. So there you are. That's the size. The flippy bits then flip out. I'll tell you what. Next job, I will go and get said solar panel. So this is the EcoFlow 400 watt fold out panel. We bought this on a deal with that because the other one that we have is a 200. So this should be, wow, yes, twice the, not twice the size, just twice the capacity. So, oop. This is the, in the bottom is the destructions and the four little clips for if you want to use it just sat on the, oh, all the backboard. That's why the whole backboard is solid on that one. So I put that out of the way there. Monocrystal silicon cells inside, right. <sighs> right. And then watch that up a bit like that and fold haven't quite got that right and do that right so then hmm this is where yeah, this is where you need to adjust slightly. So that folds over like so. And then this top bar 
is on two adjustable screws so undo that one undo that one and of course you'll only have to do this the once there's an additional bag with eight extra screws and you can line this up like so and these go in so we have three in this is the last one to go in and of course oh drop that being as it's the last one it's having to be difficult so you have to go up from the bottom through the little hole crunch that down and then line the little bolt up line line that up as you can see there's like half a thread sticking through so you have to stop barking at the seagulls right so now we can take off the bits of card they put on to do the wires that's the bit that connects it to the power pack which we already have one of those over here set up to do that right here we are underneath the panel so the first connector goes to the robot arm the second connector the one with the ends that goes out to the solar panel the third connector that one that goes up to the sensor at the top so I'll just tighten that just put that through there and then they have a little don't know if you can see that they have a little mark on them and the mark on the connector the mark on that connector goes to the mark on that move that out of the way and drop it difficult to do one-handed especially with your non-dominant hand so that goes in and then screws on like that so on the front of the control unit there is another socket again little white dot and a little white dot so that goes in and then screws on and that is the one that goes out to whatever it is you're charging in our case the EcoFlow power pack uh, just in case doggies run past I shall wrap this a couple of times around here so it pulls tight on here if they manage to catch the wire and then we shall take this to the power pack there we have the panel sat on top of the tracker the lead from there comes across plugs into that one the end of this then goes into the back of the eco floor unit in this one here the charging plug it's angled at one side and not at the other so there that's it solar input yes right the next job the next job on here we've got the connectors for the actual solar panel so all wonderfully <coughs> Yes, they're wonderfully tied up with wires. Keep them out of the way for travelling, no doubt. This is the first time it's been set up, so obviously it's taking us longer than it would do normally once we get into it. Trying to do everything and film it, of course, always takes that little bit longer. So then these two wires go underneath and if my beautiful assistant can see these then get clipped in to that one and that one 
they're not hung that low I'll just feed them a little bit through so that's you can see they're not hung down too far that they're going to catch on anything now I've just heard our eco flow bleep to say that even in this position even in this position it's getting charged so <laughs> dog fence move the dog fence out the way and even in this position with the help of big dog <laughs> back, with the help of this in that position it's getting 170 mm -hmm. it's getting 170 180 183 that's getting 183 watts so now we we turn this on two three it thinks about it That's the light now gone solid. I need to tighten these up. There you go, I'll do that while it's moving. My hand moves as well as you. <laughs> Clever stuff. So, while Susie is monitoring that, I will have a little look at the eco floor and see when it first started. It was at a hundred and eighty. Currently it's trying to find the sun, which is why it needs all that space. So that's it now, finished doing whatever it's going to do. And that is now, according to this, giving out a hundred and sixty-three which is less than the 180 it was giving out when it was laid flat <laughs> this is now on my phone looking at the EcoFlow app so the Delta Pro is there at 94% and the solar tracker so add the solar tracker super strong tracking the sunlight recalibrate are you sure yes so that's now moving yeah if I go back and look at the Delta Pro that's now getting 200 and, there you go that's now getting 214 watts 213 210 it's, t it's doing its search pattern you can see the tracker is now turning it 162 55 45 and it's got its back to the sun it's now turning into the sun again there you are it's now coming into sun that's 120 160 195 220 There you are, it seems to have settled out there. Nope. Oh no, <laughs> just when you thought it was safe, it's now zipping back. And wriggling itself. I like how it wriggles itself about to find the best optimum position. It's now sinking down slightly. And that is. 
there you go if you can see that that's actually not finished not yet, finished yet. Not happy yet. as soon as you see think it's finished it moves around a touch more that did actually go to 257 then I'm trying to get rid of that shadow yeah that went to 257 right unfortunately that's the one plant we can't move yeah that's actually a tree so that can't move so there you go that's it finished it did end up at 257 but now no, no it's jigging up and down now it's not going to lay down because if it lays down it'll get rid of the shadow <laughs> if it thinks about it hard enough And we realised the reason it was giving less, it was giving 180 on its own and then when we plugged it in it only gave 157 because the battery in the actual controller unit is down it's still charging that so it's taking some of the power not going out to charge the eco flow but to charge its own battery so it charges its own battery. It'll be doing that all the time. It'll be doing that all the time. Yeah, that's the idea. It'll be doing that to find its best place all the time. I will come back in a bit once it has finished charging the battery. Oh, we've there we go. Once it's finished charging its own battery, we'll come back and give you an update on what it's actually producing to the eco floor unit. At the moment it was showing about 167, 170. Now we know it had 180 on it and when it was moving round it was using the battery and just for a few seconds before it kicked into charging it was showing like 220, 250. So uh, I presume it's actually taking that away to charge the battery up. Watch this space. Well, we hope you found that enjoyable. Uh, well, not enjoyable. sure. Interesting. Yeah, not sure enjoyable. Informative. Informative. Uh, I will show you this. That was the reading we were getting a few minutes ago. 341 watts. It's now, as you can see, quite bright sunshine. Uh, it's just clicked off to say it's 100% full. So my next job is disc and knocker it all and uh, pack it away in the motorhome. Hope you found that in informative. Yeah, informative. Mm -hmm. If you want to know any questions or if you have any questions, put them in the old comments below and uh, I'll answer them if I can. I think that's it for this one. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to say. It's, it's, a, it's a big bit of kit. It's a heavy bit of kit in its way. It's a big bit of kit, it's a heavy bit of kit, quite an expensive bit of kit. But, but it, it does the job. It does the job Saves very you well. Saves you run out there every few minutes and move it around. Yes, we've been, we've been watching it swivel and turn and do its thing and it does what it says on the tin. It moves around and keeps the best, uh, the best angle for the panels to the sun. Yeah, and I can actually understand why other people have put it on wheels. Yeah, quite a few other people we've seen have uh, added casters. Added to the, casters to the bottom of it. And I can see why, because it, it's not. It's not light. Light, and it's, it's not, not easy, easy to carry, is it? So, it's yeah. a, so, like most things, it's an awkward shape. Yes. So yes. We shall see. So, thanks for watching. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Dakota. She's barking at seagulls. She she hasn't quite worked out that they can fly and she can't. Yeah. They fly away and you bark, 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 bark. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Here you are, noisy. You're barking at seagulls again. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, this thumb.